watching Casual DIY channel, I'm my name is Tomash. Today, as you've seen, we'll be making some book stops with a picture frame in it. Check out the video. We're actually going to be using two types of wood. We're going to be using oak for, for the frame of for the picture and we're going to be using ash as the main frame of the project. Now the oak I've got it actually comes in a two meter length so we need to cut that down to a more manageable size. I'm going to take 70 centimeters off with my uh, miter saw. At this stage I'll be using my table saw to rip all the pieces to the correct sizes. The oak will be 2.5cm wide and the ash needs to be 9.5cm wide. The whole cut list for this project will be available in the description down below. And we are back at the mitre station. As you can see, I'm using a stop block to make the cuts more accurate and obviously a little bit quicker. And this is the design we're actually going for. As you can see, it's absolutely dead simple and that's the beauty of it. It's easy to make, it's quick to make and it looks quite good. And now it's time for a bit of glue up action. Um, as you can see, I'm only going to be using glue for this project. Um, I believe it will be strong enough to hold the construction together and there won't be any need for screws or brads in this case. And now it's time for a bit of router action. What we need to do, we need to cut a rabbit in the picture frame that will be deep enough to take the glass or plexi or whatever you've got, um, a bit of backing. In my case, it's, it's a hardboard that's three millimeters thick and obviously the photo. And now it's time for the round over bit. And now it's time for a bit of elbow grease with a chisel. The rounded edges, we just need to get rid of them, square them up, and uh, then we'll be cutting out the um, hardboard back ends. Right then, so the stands are ready, nice and sanded. The picture frames are now ready. So what's the next step? I'm actually quite lucky because of the glass, I'm actually going to be using glass as the front. Um, it's actually cut to size for me already, but if you don't have a um, sheet of glass like I do, you can actually use a acrylic uh, sheet and just cut it on your bandsaw or you know even your table saw and that will be just fine. Use about, well, one or two mil will do just fine. As the back of, um, for the picture frame, I'm actually going to be using a piece of hardboard. I've got two pieces here, I just need to cut them to size. Um, it's about three millimeters thick and we'll go to the um, chop saw to do it now. And now it's time to glue the frames to the bases.
As a finish for this project I will be using Danish oil, about two coats with light sanding in between. One of the last steps is actually changing the colour of the background. So basically at the minute you would see the hardboard colour which is uh, a light brown but I want to change it to white. So a simple and very effective way is just to use a piece of uh, A4 uh, paper, double sided tape and there you go. At this point I just want to mention that this project and this video is a part of a series of three videos uh, related to books. So the first project was a bookmark and a thumb page holder and the second project was a really an absolutely awesome LED bedside table lamp and a book holder as well. So make sure to check them out if you're interested in topics of books and uh, woodworking related projects to those. I will leave the links above and obviously down below. Check him out! Three coats of Danish oil after and it's time to put everything together. And there you have it guys, they look absolutely awesome and they will definitely add um, some cool looks to your, uh, to your shelves and you know space on the shelves is very precious and now we've got two things in one, you've got a um, obviously book holder and a picture frame, how cool is that? So, you know, if you're looking to do something with your spare time on a Saturday or a Sunday, nice, simple, easy project, some brownie pounds with the missus, eh? And, um, you know, I'm quite pleased how the way they came out. Obviously, you can use different woods, uh, more contrasting woods, to be absolutely honest with you. I thought the contrast between them two types would be much uh, bigger, but, you know, they still look quite good. Um, as I mentioned before, just check out the videos that I've made about the bookmark and the uh, thumb page holder if you haven't done so yet and obviously the absolutely awesome bedside table LED lamp and a book holder. The link should be just next to me right now. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next week on my next woodworking adventure. Till then, take care.